hospitals are commonly known as places to get better, a refuge for those who are on the road to recovery. But in many hospitals across the country, people are being discharged in worse shape than when they were admitted. In some cases, they're dying. In fact, the Centers for Disease Control report that an estimated 99,000 people die every year in our hospitals from something unrelated to what they went in for. The cause? Hospital-acquired infections that are, in some cases, being unknowingly passed along by the people who are in charge of taking care of our patients. When patients come to the hospital, unfortunately, they can get an infection. Medical studies have shown that fabrics such as doctors and nurses, lab coats and scrubs can carry bacteria from one patient to the next. Even though doctors and nurses are very careful about washing their hands, we obviously cannot change our garments between every patient contact. This is particularly unfortunate when a patient comes in for elective surgery and they're otherwise not ill. The research has found that you can find bacteria everywhere in the hospital environment, particularly superbugs like MRSA are a concern. And you can find them uh, on computers, uh, TV remotes, uh, trays, bedside stands. And when a physician or a nurse goes from one patient to another, they can pick up these superbugs on their clothing and move them from one patient to another. The American Medical Association gives further merit to these findings in their 2010 Board of Trustees report calling for more research in textile transmission of infections. While hand washing is still considered paramount in preventing bacterial transmission, certain hospitals are taking the initiative one step further by encouraging all members of the healthcare team to wear antibacterial lab coats and scrubs. Here at McNeil Hospital in Berwyn, Illinois, Doctors and nurses are wearing lab coats made out of a material that can actually prevent bacteria from sticking. DocFrock antibacterial lab coats and scrubs are coated with triactive, which is a hydrophobic dendimer impregnated with silver. Any bacteria that stick to the coat are killed by the silver. Our coating has been shown to be effective against all the worst bugs, including MRSA, C. diff, VRE, and E. coli. Developments like this are good news for hospital administrators who don't want to see their patients getting sick as a result of a stay at their hospital. What's more, each hospital-acquired infection costs big bucks to treat. $30,000. It costs about $30,000 to treat each one of these infections. These infections will lengthen the patient's stay in the hospital. Um, the organisms are oftentimes more resistant to antibiotics and require more complicated treatment. Um, so preventing these inf infections is very important. Um, not only does it improve uh, that individual patient's outcome and improve their health, but it also saves the hospital money, allowing us to take care of more patients, allowing us to, to purchase more more of these coats so that we can save more patients' lives. A do-no-harm approach to medicine can mean many things to many people. For some healthcare professionals, it comes down to a simple change of clothes, becoming part of the fabric of patient care. Several years ago, I had a patient come to another hospital for elective surgery. Unfortunately, that patient caught a hospital-acquired infection and died. My business partner, Jerry Levy, had a similar experience with his mother. Both of us got together after this and decided we had to do something to prevent this problem from happening. It is the job of doctors, nurses, and hospitals to protect you, not to expose you to another problem. Doc Frock is revolutionizing patient care through the development of their antibacterial lab coats and scrubs. Traditional medical garments allow bacteria, including superbugs like MRSA, to stick and live long enough to be transmitted from one patient room to another. But DocFrock's highly effective antibacterial coating stops the transmission of these germs dead in their tracks, saving unsuspecting patients from the threat of these often deadly infections. Our DocFrock triactive antibacterial coating is baked onto the fabric. This has been shown to be more than 98% effective after either 100 washes or dry cleanings. This coating does not alter the soft feel of the fabric. Our coating is both EPA and FDA approved and will not leach into the environment. DocFrock has also redesigned the traditional lab coats and scrubs in a way that sensibly accommodates the many things doctors and nurses carry with them, preventing these items from touching contaminated surfaces. 
what's really unique about the code is having functional features that can be translated to be somewhat fashionable. Having a jacket that has thought about women as they design the jacket and having a place where I can put a pager on the coat, especially when I'm wearing a dress, is very well thought of. I think the other feature that's nice is having a, a waistline that I can tighten and have it a little more form-fitting. And lastly, I think one of the nice kind of added feature that's on the jacket is having the clip where I can put the stethoscope. So when I go from room to room, it's not flopping or it doesn't fall to the ground. Well, the development of Doc Frock creates another barrier from moving uh, disease-causing microorganisms from one patient to another. And that's really a good idea. Every time you create another barrier for the movement of germs in a hospital, uh, you break that cycle of moving superbugs around like MRSA from one patient to the next. Doc Frock, protecting your patients, protecting your employees. For more information on Doc Frock's lab coats and scrubs, log on to docfrock.com.